Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be giving you my review of the Sony a7 III. I've had this for about a year now and I've been using it both personally and professionally. And today I'm going to tell you all about it, but I must preface with this. I will not be using words like megapixels or gigabytes. None of that. I am not a super techie person. I do not keep up with the latest and greatest. I really don't care when someone has a camera and they're like, is this a good camera? I have three questions that I ask. One, does it work? Two, can you take the lens on and off? And three, can it shoot in manual mode? If it checks all those boxes, then it's a good camera. The best camera is the one that is in your hand. This review of my camera, the Sony a7 III, I'm gonna be talking about functionality, user friendliness, dependability, those kinds of things. So if you are like me and you're not super into tech, you just want it to work and work well and to work easily, continue to watch this video. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a motherhood photographer and founder of Mom Photography School, where I teach moms to take great everyday photos of their family. And of course, that all starts with a camera. And I get tons and tons and tons of camera questions. And one of them being, what camera do you shoot with, Kayla? Well, I will say for literally 10 years, maybe over 10 years, I shot Nikon. I love Nikon. I have never shot Sony. Just, I started with Nikon. It was dependable, reliable. And finally, after my Nikon camera, my latest one kicked the bucket, I decided to go Sony. And the reason why I went Sony is because I have this vlogging camera, the one I'm using right now, that I absolutely love. And once I started using it and how user-friendly it was, I was like, you know, my next camera, I am going to go Sony mirrorless, which led me to purchasing the Sony a7 III. Let me know down in the comments, what do you shoot with? I would love to know the make and the model of your camera. If you have any questions, you can drop those below as well. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I drop a new video every single Tuesday. The first thing when I went from Nikon to Canon is I also went from DSLR to mirrorless. So the biggest thing that people talk about the difference between a mirrorless and the DSLR camera is the size. I heard so much about how mirrorless cameras are so much smaller. And I kind of wanted to show you my take on that because I didn't see that big of a difference because mainly the lens that I use. My favorite lens to use is a 24 through 70. It's a big lens, but it's very versatile and it's perfect for photographing children. So I like this lens. It's just very, very bulky. Um, and this is again, my Sony Alpha and it's a mirrorless camera. Now here is my Nikon camera, which is a DSLR. So you can see the difference in the bodies here and there is a massive massive difference however this lens is so big and heavy that it really didn't make that much of a difference to me like I didn't think I didn't feel like I got that much of a difference with it yes absolutely the mirrorless camera is smaller but depending on which lens you put on there I mean, is it a deal breaker? Do you want to go mirrorless just because of the size? No, no. Now, what I will say that I did love about going mirrorless is that you can see the exact exposure of the picture that you're going to take before you take it. So um, I will show you all here the very best I can. I'm going to show you how it looks on the back of the camera. So here is this here. You can see how that looks there. That is how it's going to look when you take the picture. So if my settings are wrong, I'm going to put in bad settings. It's going to be too dark. So you can see that there, that is too dark. So that's a game changer with a DSLR, you're metering. So you're following your meter, which is perfect for learning manual mode by the way i'm so glad i learned this way in the very beginning but you have no idea whenever you click that button exactly how it's going to look until you take it 
With the mirrorless camera, you do know exactly how your image is going to be exposed before you hit the button. For people that are really, really wanting to get into to photography or really wanting to capture their families really well, this can be a game changer for making sure that you get the image exposed properly, meaning it's not too dark or too bright when you take the image. So that was the biggest difference when I picked it up and I started using it. I was like, whoa, I can literally see exactly what it's gonna look like before I ever hit the shutter button, which is huge. Another thing that I love about my Sony is it has face tracking. So it tracks the person's face and will stay focused on that, which is incredible if you're photographing children because how many children actually stay still for a photo? So literally it finds them, it finds their eyes and it will move right along with them. Now I will say, my Nikon can camera that I came from before jumping to this really nice Sony was very old. It was, uh, there had been several, several models come out, including the Nikon mirrorless camera had come out. Like this thing doesn't even have Wi-Fi capability. It is old. And I kind of kept it just to prove a point. I shot both professionally and personally with this camera. The photos were absolutely beautiful because I know how to use my camera in manual mode. I can use any camera in manual mode and take gorgeous pictures. It's not about camera. It's about the camera knowledge that you have. So I just used this and it was great. I could focus, I could shoot in manual mode. Everything was good. But whenever I picked this up and I noticed that it was focusing and following my sons as they moved around, I'm like, okay, well, that's nice. That is a very wonderful thing about the Sony a7 III. And Sony has only gotten better and better at this as the later models have released. When it comes to any cons with the Sony, I really don't have any. Everything has been super easy to learn as far as going from Nikon to Sony. It was super user-friendly. I love the focusing on it. I can't say enough good about it, but just remember the best camera is indeed the one that you have with you. And if you are interested in learning more about manual mode, I have a free class for that. I will link it down below. So there you have it. My quick review of the Sony a7 III. I absolutely love it. I don't see me leaving Sony for any reason in the near future because this camera has been just fantastic from the auto focusing to being able to see the exposure on the screen before I even take the picture. That's a huge game changer, especially for those of you who are just now getting into manual mode. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.